Tie Nice Fam Lamb, take two. Did my first take, played it, looked good for the first 10 minutes. I saw the screen hopping up and down like a damn frog. Off, off by the on and that pogo stick was terrible. So I had to scrap that 40 minute video <laughs> and do it again. Lord have mercy on my soul. But once again, doing it fireside chat style, you know, broadcasting from Casa de Jones. For the last month being in business out the way, so we're up to October 1st through Halloween into the season. Get it popping off. Uh, first event I had was on October 1st, Sunday, called Trust in the Park in Durham. It's a way to give back to people who actually gave money to the park, help them keep it beautiful and keep it up kept. So, you know, it's a free event for those who attended. Um, well, for, for me, to pop up. you buy a ticket to the event. And with that, you get access to more than 10 plus food trucks and vendors, and you can get food from every truck that's there. And it's pretty cool. So, I mean, so the ticket costs uh, 50 bucks. But the cool part is, by, by going to all the trucks, you get a whole lot of food. Because, again, nobody's serving these small portions. At, at, well, so the full portion from 10 trucks is crazy. It's a lot going on. But that was me. It's about making money. I say it's all to give back. So, there ain't that much money being made there. But a chance to network, meet new people who have money, who give back all the time, talk to them in person. And, you know, kind of get your name and brand out there more and more. And get popped off as well. Then uh, I had an event. Third on a Tuesday night, Durham National night, night Out. Pretty cool event was about getting by the neighborhood to come outside for a good time of fun. Had a DJ there. They had somebody else. Um, food trucks, DJ, and uh, fire truck was out there. So the police got their hand out stickers, having a good time. Only thing that happened with that was that I hated this. For some reason, my car is like a damn magnet. I don't understand the rationale behind it. So I set up in a spot where I'm by myself, not really around anybody. I have plenty of room spread out on but yet these uh, donkeys decided to bring out their lawn chairs and put it right beside my dog on cart. I, I, I don't get it, you know. Uh, yes, I have photos up, but I'm trying to protect the innocent and the stupid, so <laughs> so I won't post pictures of people beside my dog on cart. But of course, that means they want to talk to you at the same time because they be so close to you, so they to be friendly. I mean, we, we are in the South, so it makes sense, but I don't want to talk to you, okay? Why are you that, that close to me? Can you go that way? I mean, please, a little bit. Get over there 10 paces. I mean, who... Who does this? But for some reason, it's like a multiple thing. A lug around the cart, sit around the cart, whether they buy it or not, they want to hang around in front of it. I just don't understand the rationale behind it. So I was mighty annoyed that the whole time. But it was a prepaid event. Go back to the point again, but it's very important to get as many events as prepaid as you can. Catering is easy, easy money, and then to you. So also brand building as well. Uh, out came a news crew toward the end of the event, you know, to kind of, kind of document the, the national night out. But ain't that bad at all. So, that was my third hop to Saturday. Had an event in Raleigh. So, that event, they actually had an option to come to set up um, Friday night around between the 3 and 6 ahead of time. So, I chose the option. Why? Because me being me, I want to get it popping and then getting in there early, getting it out. So, I got in there Friday night, found my spot, put up my tent. Uh, the tent waits the whole night. I spent eating myself in the morning. I got up Saturday morning around like 4 in the morning. Why? Because it's me, y'all. I'm going to get a good parking spot. So setup began Saturday morning officially at 7 a.m., right? Because I already had myself in place uh, yesterday. Uh, yesterday, I'm good to go. I have a spot lined up, so I want to get my parking spot that I normally get at this location. I got there pretty easy how that worked. I was there by like a quarter till six, uh, quarter six in the morning. Go ahead and put the card in place because I know I got to do it fast in case my office come early. They're going to ask me questions. And I hate questions because it's not my event. I'm not organized. I got my face. Plus, all the emails I sent said, set begins at 7 o'clock. Well, I did not make it out in enough time. God dog it, family lamb. Woo! Welcome back to my truck. Truck pulled up the driveway, you know, and said, hey, are you the organizer? No, I'm not the organizer. Okay, well, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here early trying to try, 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 try find my spot. To be here at 7 o'clock, have the email said to be at 7 o'clock. To help you out, more than happy to. Okay, but meantime, where, where, where do I go? Oh, I don't care where you go. But okay, but 7 o'clock, they'll come here and help you out with what's going on and be good to go. All right, so leave me alone because I have no clue. But you, got, but, but you got your spot? Yes, because the email said yesterday you can come in Friday if you would like to come in early. They'll be here between 3 and 6 o'clock if you choose to. And I chose to. I got my spot yesterday, and now I'm going to chill. 
So then, what, so then what, what can I do? I don't care what you do. Go get some food, get some breakfast, come back at 7 a.m. how you're supposed to be, and they'll be hitting up you I guarantee no problem. So I don't understand that dumb rationale. If I told my organizer, why is it talking to me? Quit wanting, quit wanting to phone a friend. I'm not your friend, okay? Okay? Why? Because I don't give out the wrong information because, one, I have no clue where you go, so let's stop that. Number two, the organizer has things how they want it done in a certain manner. That's not me, all right? So I want to stay in my lane, mind my own black own business, okay? And this shit out, but people just be doing the most. So they finally drove off, whatever. And I went ahead, sat in the car to seven o'clock and came out, you know, to say, hey, people had to come in. Of course, it was a madhouse. We expected, you know, to have more than um, uh, 60 food vendors, all kind of thing popping off. It was absolutely crazy, y'all. But it was all right. So I saw the organizer and she came in to talk a little bit. And she reminded me uh, of an event that happened with prior. And she asked where I was at. I said, I said, well, what do you mean by was that, you know? And he said, you were a no-show for the event the week prior. Now, at this point, my face drops, and I'm mad. Because I knew I had applied for the event early in the year, but I didn't, I didn't hear anything back about getting into the event. So I didn't think I did. So me being me, I understand that uh, at an event, I'm grateful to it. I understand I might get in one year, but in the, uh, the uh, next year, I might not get in. So I'm not counting nothing until I hear them back from me because email would include Loading instructions, date time, the whole nine. I got none of that. But she says, you know, call me. I was no show. Now I'm pissed off, right? But she's trying to try to get me to calm down, you know, and calm me down. I'm, I lost thousand dollars. Either it's, it's a good event, downtown Raleigh, Saturday and Sunday. Come on, I can count with a kill the game. But what had happened was, it was a lot of vendors. So half, to her, one half of ten took one half of vendors and took the other half. The other other team had me on their list, and so she asked them, did they call me? They said no. Email me. No, but that's the problem. So she was cool with it, but you know, which is fine, but I lost I was going to make money. Said, Jay, it's gone, so we wouldn't worry about it. I'll get you in that again next year and I'm home about it. And that's a testimony to having good bond with people and organize so they know that your work ethic and they they will have your back for events coming forward in the future. But it was just still pissing off because I should have been there making that money. Okay, family I'm making that money would have been guaranteed easy money. Thou wows, okay? Thou wows of dollars were gone because they didn't, it's not, they dropped the ball. Also, I hate that she knows, the book owner knows that if I say I'm going to be there, I'm going to be there. Ain't no missing it, ain't no forgot about it. I don't do that. But I said most times it's an email that I'm supposed to do. Trust me, I didn't get the email. So now I'm going forward, I'll go, I'll go ahead and try myself and uh, follow up things just in case something like this happens again. So I was mad for two hours straight, okay? But it smacked somebody. It was terrible. Okay, it cost me money, but it's fine. The event jumps off uh, pretty smooth. Uh, no worries there at all. I made a couple thousand while that time for that event. Pretty cool and rock and roll on that one. Good crowds, good people. Once started, didn't stop. The J hand was way strong the whole time. Gotta be, gotta be. So then we're up to October eighth for Sunday. I just I wanted to go and scout out an event um, about an hour and a half away from here called the NCC Food Festival. We'll see if we want to do that for next year. Well, remember, I'm big on going different places so that you can build up a new customer base and uh, kind of help the brand build up more and more. So I want to scout it out ahead of time to see how it looks. Is it overcrowded? How many people they have doing this work after this? Is there room for me? Yada, yada, yada. So it's a good layout. Looks cool. You know, it might work. But here's the conundrum. It's also a two-day event. So I told you the night prior on Saturday, I made a, a, a few thou wow, easy. So if I were to do it next year, now I got two events on the same day, two on Saturday, and then one on Sunday. So now I hate having two events because now I got to deal with somebody doing one, one that I can't do. And I got to deal with stupidness of would it be on time, would it be set up, would it call having questions. I mean, everything that can happen will happen, and it's a stress. Now, because it's, it's in the season, my patient isn't there to really deal with it in proper manner. So my mindset already says, no, I'm better to do it next year. On because I made thousands on Saturday. So, but it, the, it's what could be, right? What well, if I made thousands in both spots? Well, it's half true. If I'm not there an event, for example, let's say an event um, I didn't do and I have my, my, my workers do it, they'll, they'll make a thousand bucks, right? Example, I do the same event. Same amount of people with more product, I can make two to um, two to three thousand bucks easily. So what's the difference? I scoot faster than they do. I mean, so now you're looking at is the hit is it worth not making as much money as if me being there, when they doing there. I mean, it's a lot of variables to it. Like, do I do one in Raleigh, 
I didn't want to do my seafood on Saturday because you know it's a new new time and take that L on the money, but still maybe a thousand bucks, maybe, but it makes it frustrating, right? How you think what to do is just eye control. But you guys took the time to do your research and scout around on what's what and make it happen as best you can, family land. But I tried, right? All right, so now up to the week of the uh, 9th through the 14th. I go ahead and go jet skiing to for my last time of the season because I like jet skiing a lot, a lot of water. Talk to the families down there. They opened up for me only. Pretty games. They were heading to the fair that afternoon, but I called and said I wanted to do it. And they waited for me to come down. Look them. So great people. I appreciate them. Uh, great family. Black-owned business called um, called um, Wilmington Jet Ski Rentals. Great people. Take care of your time. Me and the dad talking, having a good time about business and how things going the whole nine. But I love the water, y'all. So that's part of my fun and get away and have a have all the things pop up that way. After that, I go to Greece. That's video for that online. Check that out as well. And I come back on the 21st and get it in. So, we're up to our next event will be on the 27th of October with a catering event at a school. Uh, had a Halloween, Halloween themed event. Pretty cool, except for people were doing the absolute most parent wise. It's, it's rarely ever the kids these days, okay? The parents doing the most. So the event started at 7 p.m. from a 7 to 8.45, right? I'm there at 5.45. First I pull up. Normally I'm inside inside the school set up nice and neat. And um, I'm begging them whether to bring my small car or the big car. You know, I started bringing the big car just in case something weird happens. And it does. This time we had me set up outside instead of inside this time, right? So I'm outside in a little parking space. It's me and a person doing popcorn. And I immediately catch that, okay, it's... October, it's going to start getting dark pretty soon. The Vince Art 7 is probably dark when it start up. I need light. So, me being me, <laughs> be prepared. I bought my big cart, smart, and I bought the trailer. My trailer had in, of course, had in my uh, my generator and my lights. So I could put up my own tripod light and, sign, and shine bright like a diamond. Did all in the sky like that. Killed the game with it. So, that was fun. Um, they were shocked. Oh, you're so great. You're so this marvelous professional with your light set up. I'm that dude. Anything can happen, can happen. I've messed up a lot of times, but I have something that I need. So this time I happen to have it. Boom, killing the game, right? So I'm set up in place by like 6.20. Wait, now I told you that the event starts at 7 o'clock. Well, you know what happens, right? Can I get one? No. Why not? Because the event starts at 7 o'clock. Do you have a ticket yet? What ticket? Exactly. Exactly. Get your boat in that line with everybody else. Get a ticket and then come see me. Can I buy one? No. Why not? It's an event for the school. Go through the line. Open 7 o'clock. Get your ticket. And then it's free of charge. But I don't want to wait in line. Well, you got a personal problem. Why can't I buy it? I just told you I'm not going to buy it. I'm not selling it. I'm not taking no money at this car tonight. I'm here for the school. Don't have me act the fool. Okay? People are ridiculous, y'all. But they kept coming again. I kept telling them, nope, nope, nope. They shoot me. Nope. I don't care. But I'll pay. I don't care. They got cash. I don't care. But ain't no but. Move on. Okay? So, ridiculous. Ridiculous. So, finally, it opens up. Everybody going through the line. The line going pretty fast, you know, before getting through the, uh, through the school and coming out the backhand side. I was the last person, of course. I always go through the whole process. I'm on the backhand side coming out that way. So, it makes it, you know, pretty, pretty easy piece for everybody, right? So, what happened to cause my line to slow down the most? Parents did. Not the kids parents this is a public service announcement i need you parents to tighten the hell up and leave these kids alone understand if your child comes and says he's turning around, hey child what do you want and they say you want lemon don't you don't you fucking say no you don't you want cherry you should sure want cherry they say what they want it okay shut up give them what they want it if they have no choice then pick them off the top why become a line stop because now you have a dumb bitch with kids who, who say what they want it more than once and you actually don't, actually don't want, want the kid to have it. The illusion of inclusion, the illusion of choice. Stop it. It's okay for you to choose them. But don't waste my time and your kid's time acting stupid when he told you what they wanted and you said no. Pick something different. Stop. Okay? So, yep, me being me, in a season, I'm tired, I'm over it, I'm checking the parents. Your kids that they want a limit, can they have it? Yes or no. Okay? I'm stepping in for the kids. Because it's just stupid. Why, why would you do that with your. Poop but tail, okay? My God, leave the kids alone, man, okay? It's got to stop. 
Gotcha. And then the parents who have the brain span memory of a damn goldfish. It's real. Okay. So with what I do in my line, I'm listening. So I had a customer from who ordered and I'm also listening to the order being made behind them and the person behind that. So I'm like three, three orders deep in my mind. So I'm listening to all conversations that happen in my big ears, you know, listening up, you know, and I can hear people behind saying, Hey, when it's my turn, I know I'm going to want lemon or want cherry or mango. I'm already listening to what's going on. So when they come up here, hey, you want mango. How'd you know that? <laughs> I'm that dude. Not a client. I was just listening ahead of time so I can break away from Monday. So what happens is, listen to the parents, ask the kid what they want. The kids, they want lemon or cherry or whatever, mango or whatever. Come up here. And the parent didn't say, and I say, hey, hello, how are you today? What, what would you like? And then the parent turns to the kid. What did you say you wanted again? How you were listening? If I was listening, how the hell you stupid? Why aren't you listening to that? She just said it five times to your stupid tail what she wanted. And the second I ask you, your brain cuts the commercial. Blue. Blue. Lee moo, e moo, and duck. How your brain cut the commercials? I mean, it's got to stop. Come on, man. So... Again, my line stopped because I got to deal with the foolishness. Asking kids what you want. Then, oh, 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 nothing worse than when a kid tell you again at the car. And he said, okay, they want, huh? Say it again. What say you want again? It just for the split second. Are you drunk? Are you high? I mean, if you're not, listen, you shouldn't even have children. If your brain span, span is that short, you shouldn't have children. Okay? It just, it just doesn't work. Because you're going to be a horrible parent. I'll tell it to your face. I don't care how you feel about it. It's ridiculous, y'all. But it, it happens all the time throughout the season. Kids say what they want. The parents say what they can have. Stop doing that. If you want truth from my top, I'm more than happy you're doing that. But quit it at my cart having these dumb conversations when you know full well what you want your child to have. Stop the fake illusion of choice. Cut it out. Come on, man. Stop with the phone. Phone. Okay, piss me off to the highest of festivity with the dumb stuff. But it kept happening, you know, so that's the important. Again, I'm stepping in, you know, the kid wanted this. I heard what the kid wanted. I got it. I'm trying to kid kids. You wanted lemon and cherry. Yes, I did. Parent, you be quiet. I got this. It like, kick, 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 kick. It's not funny. Okay, it's not funny. You're slowing my cart down with the dumb tail. So that happened, you know, good event going so far. But then I had one lady start doing the absolute most, right? And, and I, I don't get it. For one thing, it's, it's, a, it's a kid's event. Can we relax on the dumb stuff going on? But anyway, she comes to the cart with the kids, you know, and ordering her food. And it happens all the time. Women keep money in their bra on their breasts, right? So, all right, whatever. No big deal there. She's trying to find her money, right? Can't find it in the left titty. Goes to the right titty. Right titty to the left titty. Now, the blind stops. So now I'm getting annoyed at what's going on. Then I look up at her. She's making this long eye contact while trying to find money in her titties. What, 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 what are we doing at the car? Come on, man. I'll be gazing in my eyes, playing with your breasts. It's like, it's like, are you trying to fake find some money? Oh, my Lord. It's ridiculous and, and stupid. And at this point, I'm, I'm, I'm mad because you're slowing my line down with dumb stuff. I mean, tell you, she ain't trying to find no damn money, okay? All right? You don't go from left to right breast to breast back and forth playing game. Stand in my eyes longingly, okay? Okay, man, can you calm down? Get somewhere and sit down somewhere? Relax yourself. So the line got longer because she stood there that long doing it, you know? And I guess she finally called on people looking at, looking at her, looking at me, playing with her titties, kind of Monday, to which finally pulls it out. See, you had money the whole time, man. Can you stop that? Okay, this is a child's event, and you're doing the absolute most anyway. Stop. Okay, oh, this, the things that go through family is just re- don't you? okay, okay. Oh my lord! But got it done. The event was fine, you know, and this is what it is. All right, made some money. Everybody was appreciative of, of, of the of the of my efforts there. They had more. Oh, that's nothing. When I booked for the event, they said they wanted, they wanted to serve a hundred uh, kids at night, right? And I said, okay, fine. If that's light work, let them to it. Two hours to do it. I do that in thirty minutes, whatever. So I get there, and when the event starts, I hear people talking about how they had planned for 100 people, but they had more than 500 signed up. <laughs> what? What's the problem with that, though? What if I had only bought no product for 100 people? 
they would, then I would be blamed for running out early. People would be upset that I ran out early. I'm the bad guy. And I guarantee the organizers would not say, no, it's my fault. I told them it would be 100 when we went over that mount. But no, 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 no. But again, I can't carry a small amount in because my cart serves for 100. So I need to put an oh, and offer to work properly, I gotta maintain a certain set of my product in it anyway. So this will happen to have what I needed. But what if I have really came short, you know, with hauling an iPhone for 100? That would be it. So I did about like maybe about 270 um, total ice that night. Ridiculous. But I had to give, made more money because of that. But you gotta think about sometimes people will, you know, not tell you that, hey, we increased the number. Because they didn't tell me nothing. They just said, but if 100, I show up with what I had. But just imagine what would have been gone. It would have been Jay ran out of product. He can't have it no more because he ran out of product. Oh, my God. And then another lady came out there, you know. Uh, I see her every year, and um, she said, if you want to get one, she asked, you know. Again, once again, I used to do every year, would I come to her kid's party? And I said, when is the kid's party? Like I said, every year. And she says, in November. I said, nope, because I'm stopping to come home. You always say that every year. Why do you ask every year? <laughs> you play yourself, okay, ma'am? Ma'am, I told you I'm just stopping, okay? Not going to be able to do it. But I'm trying to be not because also, I'm not, not doing any more, any more personal business anyway. I just don't care about it. It's my household. I'm not going down. I need a business inside with a ramp. I'm not doing more driveway, not in neighborhood, none of that stuff anymore. But, you know, it's not nice because she asked every year. So, if you want to know, I might do one where I have a solid. But it's all in memory, so I'm not going to be able to do it. Can we do it? I'm not going to be able to do it. So, that was good to go. Got done with that one event. And then we're leading up to October 29th, which is going to be a Sunday. Had an event in Greenville. Picked it up last minute because I saw it would be good weather. And I saw a location that would be pretty good that it might work out for me that way and get it popping, right? Go there to the event. I'm very excited. I'm outside with the other food truck. Got my tent popping, shining like a peacock, you know. Everybody can see me as I'm driving by with the booming system. Cars ride by with the booming system. But anyway. The event was horrible, family. <laughs> Whew. Made like 140 bucks. Okay? That's about five hours worth of work. So now to get to get to the spot in Greensboro, it took me um, about two hours to get there. Now, normally Greensboro is a fantastic city for me, so it's not the city that did it. The event organizer, for whatever reason, didn't do a good job either advertising the event or getting people to come out to the event. So it was just piss poor to the highest of piss poor stiffity. <laughs> the boy's stupid, right? <sighs> I was there hoping it would get better. Nobody came, which was very, very crucial. And But it's a chance to learn. So I bought my laptop and put some work in there while I work and just try and push through and get and make the best of situation that I could. So I had some other friends with food that came by to kind of see what was happening and get a look for themselves in case, in case, in case, in case, in case, in case they also want to do it next year themselves as well. And saw how bad it was too. So yeah, I'm talking about how bad it was. And one food truck that was there Said it sold out. I'm like, sold out to what? How did it sold out? There's nobody here. Turns out they brought one pan of food, you know. So now it sounded good when it said they sold out, right? Because even though I, 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 I immediately knew better than that. One pan of food, man, they probably gave up maybe like six to seven, you know, plates, and that's it. That mean, what if the crowd did show? That, that mean it was sold out, what, 30 minutes or so? That's, that's bad bits, man. I, I guess they called it right for it not being, for it being a, a piss poor event. But who thinks like that? You couldn't have made the money you, that you thought you could make had you planned properly. It just doesn't make any sense. So stop false advertising. You sold out because you, 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 um, you um, didn't bring anything. We all know there isn't anybody there at all. It was, it was horrible inside and out. But the location was fine. It was just really, really fine, but it didn't work. So I said, I lost money on that event. So I did want to have enough events that going to counteract the losses with, um, you know, what uh, with the wins. And that was a gigantic L. I was a loser <laughs> on that day. Waste of time, waste of money, waste of gas, and a whole nine. So, oh, well, it happened. So now we're up to Halloween. I got an event. Halloween school catering. Told y'all. I be catering a whole lot for these schools. Easy peasy. I'm skate, I'm catering. Not skatering. Who does that? Me. I can't skate. Get your mind right. I can't do tricks, but I can roller skate and ice skate a little bit, you know. I'm a coastal brother. But anyway. So, I had a rough weekend. I came off the, you know, the event Sunday suck. I'm tired, drained. Mentally, my mind really isn't there. And I leave for the event an hour and a half early. And I get out of my neighborhood. And I'm going way too fast. 
and I turn the corner, look up in my rear view mirror to see my trailer pop up a willy and then start to fall over, 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 teep, 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 boom, on its side. I go ahead and have my whisper, my, my mindset was already ready on because I saw it coming. I drag the trailer off the side of the road so I'm not the guy that got blocking traffic who panics and just sits there and looks stupid in the car. Get out looking out. What did I do? What just happened? No. I know what happened. I'm trying to pull out of ways. I keep traffic going and keep it smooth like that, right? Yeah, my mind, it's how, my, how, how the J mind works. Get it done, you know, make phone calls. Hey, you know, hey, I've had an accident. <laughs> Luckily, uh, here by a tow truck. Get me there, get me, come see me, check me out. But here's the thing. I had an hour window to get upright and get back on the road to make my event. Because damn, now I'm going to my event, okay? It's a prepaid event, catering, guaranteed money. If I can help it, I'm not going to miss my event. So we get there uh, after some trial and error, get the trailer turned back over. Um, it now has a partial sunroof. <laughs> oh my gosh, I did it. Uh, I fixed the wheel guard so be sure it's not hitting the wheel at all. And I head to the event. I got to admit me like two minutes late. Get there by the, are you all right? You should, 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 should you be here? <laughs> yeah, I should be here. I need my my money, okay? What's the matter with y'all? What? I, I'm fine. Even if I ain't fine, I'm here. Mainly because I, I don't like missing events. If I say I'm going to be there at all costs. So, truck was fine. Check that goal was fine. You know, quick, quick thing, it was, it was in there, was moving around. But the way it fell... It fell on the side where the big car was laying, so the big car per se didn't actually fall from one side to the other. It was already on the side that fell on. Good luck on that standpoint, and it would get the event popping off without any issue at all. Okay, at all. But yeah, I, I see by the pics on uh, social media. Yep, yep. I really turned the whole thing over. <laughs> that boy's stupid. I did it. My mind wasn't right. JJ did it. Plus, you know, it, it actually I'm, I'm, I'm happening like four or five times. Normally, I would I. Wouldn't be going as fast when I did it this time, so it would pop up a little bit and come back down. But let's be sure, I'll be careful now. I will probably do a wide turn going forward. But that was really pretty smooth how I went. Uh, easy money on that standpoint. Uh, kids were happy. Parents were happy getting it, you know. Parents were coming in with shock. It was paid for by the school. Of course, you know how I go, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy. Hello, how are you today? Can I, can I offer you a tad nice? No, don't worry about it. And then it hit it's free. Oh, well, by the way, I sure will. See? Anything free here, they come with the bullshit. Okay? Keep that same energy, man. I didn't say you had to pay for it, but I just want you to offer one. That was it. Okay? It shouldn't matter if it's free or not. I got good product. Get my product. Quit playing my emotion, okay? If you didn't want it, when I first, at first time, don't get it now when it's free. Pampins. But it can't be that way, right? Uh, so whatever. A pretty easy event. And uh, I go home, you know, look at my trailer outside, get it, what I done, done to it, mess it up. So it's still dry. But the only thing with it now is just that it may be an issue with it rains. Um, the seal is broken, of course, now with the smoke, the minor hole on top of it now. So you got to decide either to cover it up in the meantime or go ahead and trade in for a different one. It's whatever. But it happens. I won't do insurance on because no point doing that. I know it's about four grand. Just whatever. I pay for the other one. So this is what it is. Not with my insurance for that to go up high premium for that full thing. So, to be clear, I have two insurance policies: one liability insurance and one for one for um for work, workers' compensation. So, there's two parts you got to have. But so, one is um eighteen hundred, other like a thousand while. So, here's what it is. All right. So then we did that. Now, it should be, it should be my, my last event of the season, but it was not. It was not the last event because I saw. It's going to be good weather on Saturday, the 4th of November. And I got an email from the parts and hey, we had an event there that need a dessert vendor. And I'd be the only one there with desserts. Well, that to me is destiny. <laughs> destiny. So I go ahead and decide to do that event. And I was right. But also was right in that I knew I had a small window to work with. At this point, it's getting darker sooner, getting colder sooner. So I knew as long as the sun is up, I had good sales. But when the sun go down, my sales would be gone and it would be all stroke. And I couldn't do nothing with that, right? So, I was right. I get there with my sunroof now trailer popping off and get to the event. No problem at all getting there. And um, having a good time. Having great sales from 4 until 7 when the sun starts to go down and start getting cold. I predicted. And I made a foul out pretty quickly. So, that was cool. But, it was not without incident, family. But, end of the season. My patience is 
very, very short for foolish and foolishness and bullshittity. So I scoop fast, as you know, family. Very fast. That's what I do, right? A guy and his lady walk up to his cart and they stop and look at it. And he says, I want a cherry. So me being me, I hear that, looked at it, I scoop it up real fast. Here you go. She then turns to him and says, no, you can't have it now. We're going to eat first and then come back and get this. Now, I'm pissed off at this point, right? I done scooped it up and it's ready. And she done told him when he could eat. <laughs> so he then turns to me, turns me and says, we'll come back. I said, no, you won't. Huh? No, you won't. No, you won't at all. You didn't say you came in to get the thing scooped up right now. I got it ready right now. You can get it now. Don't even come back and see me at all. And he started laughing. I said, I'm, not, I'm dead serious. Don't come back here. That's it. I don't care. She looking all shocked that I said it. You know, I'm a cashier over there laughing because you can't believe it. That's what, listen, I'm not having it, y'all. You said you want cherry. I scooped it up. I don't mind you saying I'm going to come back. That's okay. Come up and say, I'm just looking. I'm just browsing how you always do. It's fine. But once you want it and I scoop it and then your mind changed, I don't want to see you again. I don't know what you're talking about. But family, I guess it's all playing. <laughs> Who got them? So they come back after they got their vittles. Okay. Ate their meal. All right. He come over there and hey, man, I get cherry. I said, you sure can I? Huh? I wasn't playing with you. I told you don't come back here. You cannot get no cherry. She told you when you can eat. So, you know, you won't get the cherry. You need to turn around and ask her for permission to get the tan. She looking, you know, all stunned. I said, I don't care. He looking all shocked. He come, he's laughing. I'm playing. So I'm not playing with you. I'm serious. She told me when you can eat. You need to ask her permission. If she said you can have it, then I give it to you. But until then, I'm not doing nothing. I ain't giving nothing at all. Oh, my God. So, Jamil over there, she's over there busting up laughing. Can't believe it. But I'm holding firm because I'm pissed off at how the festivity are. I already waste my time. First time, scooping up. I'm over patience. I don't have time for you right now. And you're playing the rain against with me. So, if, if she control you that much, tell you, tell you, tell you when you're going to eat, when you say to tell what you want right there, and she, she checked you, okay, in front of everybody, man, please. She would have pants. I don't mind that. Is you ask her and have her tell me that you can have it, you can get this thing. So he's saying, look, for a second, he looks stupid. But I, I looked at her and said, Miss, ma'am, can he have an entire night? Oh my God. She said, Y'all laughing. I didn't really mean that. I don't care how you meant it, but you did. You told me you can eat. That's what it was. I understood what you were saying. You should have called before I scooped. Well, I didn't. Yes, you did. So can he have one? Yes or no? And she stood there, Paul, and I stood there, Paul, too, straight face, you know. Give it down. She finally saw I wasn't playing. She went ahead and said, yeah, you can have one. I'm not playing with nobody. I'm not playing with nobody. She told this grown man when he can eat. Okay? She walked, she walked him come up, come up there to me, watched him stare at it, watched him see what he wanted before she then cut him off with the pads, you know, to get it going. It was just absolutely crazy, fam. So, that happened, you know. It is what it is. So then... It started getting colder and colder. My line starts slowing down. Uh, that's the point. I put on my coat first because it's getting cold. Then my toe body. That's the point. I'm really over it, right? So the event goes about 9 o'clock. So I'm trying to, it's like about 7.30 at this point in time. And it's like an hour and a half to go. But I'm cold, y'all. The bird is on me. I'm brisk like nest tea, all right? I'm just, I just can't handle it right now because I don't understand. People want to buy it still. But it's not enough volume to actually make it worth my time. At this point, my body feels it. My body's getting cold and my hands getting cold, you know, I think my feet hurt. I don't want to be out here no more. So by the eighth, I go ahead and put up my sold out signs, right? And of course, you know what happens. Anytime you're about to put, about to put my tent down, put my sold out sign, I come close. Here I want to come one time. Oh, I will get one. I will get one, man. What you doing? You should have been here earlier. Any food will stay there as long as the line is consistent. You had a long gap, so nothing all going on with it. We get bored. So I feel like my body's tired, our body aching, ready to go home. It's not the right time to come out of there after the fact saying, oh, can I get one? You can get out my line, get out my face, because the answer is nope and purrs, you know? So I'm telling everybody no. I don't care who it is or what it is. No, clothes, sold out. Yep, I sure am sold out. That's it, you know. That's it, that's all. See, one lady came by, you know, and I was proud to give her the business. I was ready to give her the business, y'all. And she says, I see that you're sold out of everything. I had a question. Now, that's the important. I'm cool. Because that means that she's not, not about acting stupid, I don't think. She, she, she understands that my science is sold out, so it's to be respected. I'm all for it. I said, yes, ma'am. How can I help? What's your question you got for me? She said, well, when you do have your flavors here, what kinds do you have? I like that. Okay? 
She asked her questions about the future, about what to have, you know, we had a good dialogue. It made my day. Compared to other idiots who wanted to swear them down, I got more product. I'm going to give it to them. I did have more. I didn't give a damn. What? So I explained to her what I played with that house sometimes. I said, hey, yeah, yeah. Um, at the time to be out of cotton candy, I do it once. Like, oh, my God. I'm going to find you next year. I appreciate that. Hey, fantastic way to end that event. Okay? Okay? But cool event. Uh... Made some monies there. I made my quest. Say about a quick style while on the backhand side. So that was cool. And that was the official last event that I did for the season. I did get asked about what if we have another another warm day in November, December. You know how to do down here uh, in, um, in North Carolina that I, that I call the, the uh, North Cocket Back, you know. Uh, I said, I don't care. Uh, this, I'm really, really done, you know. Uh, I have a little product left, but pulling it out, getting it prepped up is just too much on my own. I don't want to do it at all. Nope and purrs. But it was overall a pretty good season. That's thanks to y'all. So I appreciate that. Uh, was it good as last year? No, but that's not because of y'all. It's more because of the uh, multiple rain delays. It happened. It's kind of killed it. But it's still very profitable. So appreciate that. Everybody who came through, comes out. All support and love. We're going to run back again um, next year. Uh, starts probably in April. be official event season. But I might, might do one in March, depending on how I feel. A um, couple of things to take note of uh, for next year. I'm doing less events than I'm organizing. Um, so there will only be one NC Sugar Rush next year in May. And at the most, there will be two a Taste of Soul NCs. But well, I'm probably going to do one, to be honest with you. But trying to do it about. So when I first started about myself, my goal was to give people a chance to uh, food trust and chance to money and business make money as well with merchandise. But now there are more people doing my same format, the same location, the same time frame I do mine in. So... I don't mind that. Do it. More people do it better. Less stress on me, you know, having to do it on myself. So because of that, I want to be sure that mine maintain their certain level of quality that they're known for instead of having to do too many to people everybody else. Nah, I got it. So it happens. So be ready for those um, applications to go live on February 1st of next year. So, yeah, yeah. Rocking it out, family. Got to keep them thing moving, 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 moving. You know, so we got this thing popping off. But also be mindful next year. I'm going to have a price increase for my caterings. So I really, uh, I don't mind doing it for schools, but outside of that, I don't do it uh, for a certain amount of money. So that's going up. So we ready for that. Again, we're not doing any kind of party in, in, at folks' houses anymore. It's not going down. I don't care. Not in the neighborhood. I don't care. Uh, unfortunately, I just don't want to deal with driveways and the whole headache. Again, because the same amount of effort to doing a big event. Is also do an event in neighborhoods or a private party. I don't like dealing with it. I'm sick of it. Um, it's beyond belief, fact or fiction. That was a good show, fact or fiction, like the back in the day. So, but I'm ready, y'all. Season's done. Time to relax myself. Get my mind right. I'm already planning for next year. Events popping off in plan form already. It doesn't, it doesn't stop. Uh, got a new tent that I'm about to get pretty soon here. Fire tent, you know. Keep my branding going. Yeah. Fire. Uh, but that's it y'all appreciate everybody for the love throughout the season and I will see y'all next year pick up broadcasting live from the Casa de Jones once again yeah. yep sitting here give you a quick look now back at it Stop that. Do not come to my house. I don't care who it is, <laughs> what it is. If you're not invited, do not ring my doorbell. Ring, ding, dong. Ring, ding, ding, ding. ding. Don't do nothing. Okay? It's Casa de Jones. Place of peace. You can't get an ice cream up my doorstep. Folks, try it. It's not going down. Just cut it out. You know? It's just ridiculous. All right? It's got to stop. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. All right, Pam, family. How I sound? Family. Family, who's that? That family matters is ridiculous. Peace up, eight time down. Talk to y'all later. Bye.